So to continue with the insulation, polystyrene, paint insulation in this case, um, what I'm going to do is I'm just going to get some acrylic paint and uh, just give it a base of black. And I've done all sides um, of the little wall just to give you a good example of it. And maybe what I'll do is uh, I'll use this, yeah, this pin, good little tip there to hold it and sort of move it around. So that I can, you can see all of it being painted. So don't be afraid to apply it because it it, it will seep in. Anyway, no point watching paint dry. So what you want to do is just make sure uh, that you get into all the little nooks and crannies um, with the black. And then let it dry. Uh, one thing I should remind you about is not to use a good brush. I mistakenly picked up this brush, which is a Kolinsky, and that is an expensive uh, watercolour brush, so I'll need to take good care of this and clean it properly. Uh, you're best just to go to the pound store, pick up some stiff brushes, cheap throwaway things, and then you can move on from there. So now that we've left uh, the wall to dry. This one's not perfectly dry. Uh, found another old feather brush and what I'm going to do is try and mix up uh, some grey. And then I'm going to take a kitchen towel, just get most of it off. And then I'll, I'll just take it along the sides and maybe best to do it uh, this way to get a better result. And then we'll let that dry for a little bit. So once that's dried off, um, try and get some a white acrylic. And once again, I'll I'll just try and get most of it off here. And then I'll lightly go over the brickwork. And then we'll let that dry. And so from here on in, <clears throat> it's up to you uh, what kind of treatment you want to give the wall. You can give it some green, brown or a mixture of. And once again, you just wipe off the brush on the kitchen towel and then apply uh, the colour to it. 
and it's always a good idea to go in the direction of the some of the joints that way you can get some of the surface and the joints are they remain black or maybe some of the white will find its way into the joints representing mortar or it could be a dry dike which has no mortar you think you're just getting a little bit too dark you can always go over it again with a little bit of white. And then I think the final touch might be some brown, kind of mucky brown. And the same thing wipe the brush off um, and then just stroke it a little brick wall made simply with a piece of pink insulation And as I said, you can dress it up as much as you want with the colours uh, of your preference from the area uh, where the, uh, the wall has been installed. So I hope you enjoyed that little tip and you can try it yourself uh, on your layout. Remember to give me the big thumbs up, ring that bell. And please subscribe, it helps. And we'll see you next time at Partick Hill Station for another little tip. Bye for now. And just to add a bit of effect to it, you can put some uh, glue over the wall and then sprinkle uh, some flock. just to get it anchored um, into the landscape. Yes. And there you have a perfect little wall to sit in a nice location on your layout and it all started with that 